avocado tuna melt bites. I've been on a mission lately to use up different ingredients found around most common households. There's been quite a few emails sent to me lately about tuna melts. I never really had too many of these pre kato but I've had my fair share of grilled cheese and knew exactly what to do to get something portable, easy to make, and perfect for any time of the day. These Kato tuna melt bites really fit the bill. The crispy outside matches great with the soft, creamy filling on the inside. It really is as if you made a fried tuna melt and put it on a plate. The flavors come together very nicely. It's not overly fishy, and the spices can be interchanged for whatever flavor profile you're going after. Ingredients 1. 10 ounces canned tuna, drained. 2. 1 fourth cup mayonnaise. 3. 1 medium avocado, cubed. 4. 1 fourth cup parmesan cheese. 5. 1 third cup almond flour. 6. 1 half teaspoon garlic powder. 7. 1 fourth teaspoon onion powder. 8. Salt and pepper to taste. 9 and 1 half cup coconut oil. Instructions. 1. Drain a can of tuna and add it to a large container where you'll be able to mix everything together. 2. Add mayonnaise, parmesan cheese, and spices to the tuna and mix together well. 3. Slice an avocado in half. Remove the pit and cube the inside. 4. Add avocado into the tuna mixture and fold together, trying to not mash the avocado into the mixture. 5. Form the tuna mixture into balls and roll into almond flour, covering completely. Set aside. 6. Heat coconut oil in a pan over medium heat. Once hot, add tuna balls and fry until crisp on all sides. 7. Remove from the pan and serve. This makes a total of 12 avocado tuna melt bites per bite. Each comes out to be 185.2 calories, 17.76 grams fats, 1.02 grams net carbs, and 5.03 grams protein.